Greetings, Omochuku from Eastern Nigeria. Another update for this Friday. Police arrested, detained 13 year old people for wearing camouflage anymore. That's a pupil who wore a military camouflage has been arrested in Imo State. Take his name, yeah, his, her name is Obiworo Chidera. Obiworo Chidera, that's her name. That this young girl was, this girl was arrested on Sunday, okay, around 8 a.m. by officers attached to the naked police division headquarters in Owere. You don't see them now. You don't see what the police they do. So they said this Chidera was put behind bars for several hours and coerced by the policeman, a 13 year old girl. They told her to change her age to 19 when she was writing her statement. You don't see them now. What did the police they do for? Imo. For Nekede now. You know Nekede Zoo now. Okay? So Nekede Zoo. And that's how this thing happened. You see them? Now, people said she was arrested in Ihiagwa. Well, that's on the 14th of May, like that's Sunday, I've said, 2023, for putting on clothes that the police claimed looked like army uniform. Is that your own? Okay. Now, after she was arrested, they wanted to force her to increase her age, like I said before. The guess the the so that they will be so that they, 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 these police officers will not be blamed. Okay. But the girl refused. The girl said she will not say that she's 19 while she was 13. You see, so the police station is naked police station. Naked police station. We have said it. That is where this thing happened. Now, from the available reports, there are other people who are under 18. Children. Children. In that police detention, languishing there, that's the information we're receiving. So this girl was bailed with fifteen thousand naira. Her family came to bail her with fifteen thousand naira. But what is scary now is that there are people who are the children who are there under eighteen. There, yeah, they are languishing there because they have no money. We see them. So the relative of this of this girl, I found it. He said the report is true. He said, yes, yeah, she's my family member. She was arrested on Sunday for wearing what they called camouflage. He said they paid 15,000 naira before she was released to, to them. She said, this girl is just in SS2. So sad. That's what he told the Sahara reporters. You have seen what is happening. You don't see them now. They are, you know, just moving everywhere. Extorting, extorting people. Anya Yehazu, are you getting me? These people they call police. Anya Yehazu. So that is it. They are not securing anybody. You see, the insecurity you are witnessing in the zone in the eastern Nigeria, they are the one causing it. I'm just giving you privileged information, international community, because every every woman, all the entire South Easterners. Okay, they are aware of this thing that we are saying now. We are saying this for the in, in the, for the benefit for, for the information, giving information to the Western to the international community. That's why we are bringing it. So it's not new to people who are in Eastern Nigeria. It's the international community we are talking to now. That the insecurity you are hearing about is being perpetrated by the security agents in the Eastern Nigeria. Eastern Nigeria. So, the, you see, I've seen the extortion, extortion. Those people under 18, several numbers, under 18 in detention facility in that Nakade, you see, they are there because no money to bail them out. People are poor. These 15,000, how many families can cough it out? So, that is what I gave an account of what happened last Sunday. In one of our articles, for how the police, a particular police squad, they are only there 
they will see you with your child and they will apprehend you. They will level accusation on you. Once the child is tender, just maybe one, two, three days old child, once they saw you with it, they will, they will arrest you. Not even arrest, abduction. They will abduct you. If they abduct you, now they will now be taking you around the town, around the city of Owe, everywhere, you know, to confuse you more and confuse you more and threaten you to shoot you. They will call God. Say you should bring one million, five hundred thousand, hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, as the case may be. Otherwise, they will incriminate you and say you are a child trafficker. And they will kill you. You won't do anything. They will kill you. So this is their stock and trade. That is what they have been doing. There are so many forms. I just said about this group. Their own is moving to search for people who are carrying children of one, two, three days old. So there are many ones. They are moving around the town. They carry gun. They intimidate and harass people to part money to them, to part money, and give them. They have made the security situation to get worse, and they are taking it as as advantage. Because once the governor hear it, he says, shoot, shoot them. They hype you be. They come on, what is happening? What is happening? This chief insecurity officer is exhibiting problem. He will not go and investigate and say, what happened? Once he hear that oh, they have shot somebody, say, ah, oh, they are the unknown men. He will not verify and see who are these people. He will conclude that they are unknown men. These people have killed innocent persons who did nothing wrong, unarmed civilians. And they will say unknown government. The governor will approve it. No investigation again. They are here doing it. And once anything happened to them, they will say, some people will be having pity. What are you having pity for? When the unseen hand will strike them, they have start having pity. Go to the state command of police, the evil they are committing there. They will see what they call it black. Pure. For your eyes, you go see and say now white. This police whether for Eastern Nigeria you go call them black. They go say now black. Within their pure white. Tell me why unseen hand will not strike them. Tell me. Tell me what will stop the unseen hand from striking them. So we are not happy. This thing is happening and happening. People are languishing in that naked zoo or police station, and they are underage people. We are not happy. You understand what we are saying? Those who say they are state actors, they are using the state authority to intimidate people, to harass people. They have created insecurity, and the insecurity they have created, people are still suffering in it because they are incriminating people and killing them extrajudicially. No trial, nothing.